What is currently happening programs? Welcome to The Grid VR, where I'll be bringing you this week's news in virtual reality. It's Saturday the 24th of February 2018, and all I can say this week is, spin me a tail. We've got Brass Tactics setting the table, Twilight Path telling a fable, games free for all those able, next-gen Star Trek, Qualcomm headsets, reality decks, and much more. Today, I'm going to cover off the main events to keep you in the loop. So stay locked, enjoy, and welcome to The Grid VR. Brass Tactics, the real-time strategy tabletop simulator developed by Hidden Path Entertainment, who made the highly acclaimed tower defense title Defense Grid 2, has come to a virtual headset near you, or more specifically, near your face. Strap into a solo six-hour plus campaign against AI of varying difficulty, or jump into a competitive online multiplayer or online co-op sit-out with real players from around the globe while you battle it out across more than 20 highly detailed handcrafted maps. Everything you could want as an RTS fan is here, and if you want to try out this game without the hassle of going through any kind of refund process, should you not like it, Brass Tactics Arena is a stripped back, free to play version of the game and has unlimited online competitive, cooperative or versus AI play on a single map. Initially, Brass Tactics was delayed for release, so the devs could refine the title, and it looks like that slight delay has paid off as the reviews coming through are damn good. The game is up now on the Oculus Store for 40 bucks, and Vive users can use Revive to play this as well. Links in the description for both, so go forth and wage some war. Apex Construct, the first person action adventure sci fi title from Fast Travel Games, has been released this week on the PSVR. Set in the real world, you must help one powerful AI defeat another through the exploration of a shattered future. Equipped with a bow and arrow loaded with standard exploding or shock arrows to dispatch spider-like enemies and an energy shield to block incoming attacks, Apex Construct may have its place in your content library. Both teleport and smooth locomotion options are available, which is cool, but I gotta point out that from what I've read and seen so far, the game's controls can be occasionally shit, Battles inconsistent, object clipping a bit janky, and with the entire game being limited to six environments that are reused to stretch out the title, I'd say maybe go in with some reservations. Still, there are some people that are loving this title, so I'd say give it a go if you like what you see on screen and you're a PSVR owner. Also, a PC VR release of the game is set for mid-March, and there's a link in the description for that one. Following the announcement from Qualcomm late last year of their new Snapdragon 845 mobile processor, the company have announced an 845 based reference design headset which other manufacturers like Oculus and HTC can then take and build their own headsets with. The unit is capable of displaying 1024 by 1152 pixels per eye which you may notice is on the low side when compared to the upcoming Oculus Go or the Chinese only HTC Vive Focus. But what it lacks in resolution, it makes up with being able to run up to 120 frames per second, which is on par with Sony's PSVR. The unit reportedly has a 30% boost in performance and efficiency compared to the 835 reference design from last year, which headsets like the HTC Vive Focus, Lenovo Mirage Solo and Pico Neo are based on. And it also has 6 degrees of freedom inside out tracking like those units, which means means no cables. Qualcomm's Adrenophoviation technique is included, which is a foveated rendering technology that works out what part of an image you are looking at and then reduces the pixels outside of that area in order to reduce the compute power required. In addition, the 845 does have some hardware specific implementations that will benefit VR and AR directly, like a dedicated signal processor or DSP to run simultaneously localization and mapping, 
or slam, which can, for example, map out the environment you are standing in in real time and place you inside it. Not a huge update to what we have already, but another powerful step in the right direction, and there will be more details at the Game Developers Conference, which runs from the 19th of March. So stay tuned here for any notable updates. And briefly, One's the first-person competitive online magic dueling game from Cortopia Studios is free to play this weekend on the Oculus Store. Grab a wand and battle other wielders for that pixelated trophy with your name on it in the realms of the beyond. Also available on the Steam Store if you decide to buy it, though it is half price on the Oculus Store at the moment. As usual, links in the description. Glitch Space, the abstract puzzle solving titled from Space Budgie, is now now free to play for all on Steam. This one is around four years old, has a couple of hours of story, and it's a great little example of where basic graphics are vastly overpowered by an effective concept. A link is in the description if you want to give this one a spin. Twilight Path, a VR fantasy adventure puzzle game with both beautiful and dark atmospheres, will release in the summer of this year. Not much to go on just yet, but this team bought us the award-winning form, which is a surreal adventure which unfolds within the human mind. That title was highly rated and I'm looking forward to the studio's follow-up. Reality Dex is a virtual reality DJing software that lets you take the helm of two RDT 100 turntables and mix tunes for the junglist massive. Load your own WAV and MP3 files, or pick one of the 10 bundled tracks from seven featured artists to instantly get a feel for the art of virtual DJing. It has some cool real-time waveforms, features all the controls you would expect, with cue points coming soon, is touch compatible, and up now on the Oculus Store for 20 bucks, with a 10% discount if you buy this in the first week of release. Also worth a mention here, and which may be a better alternative for Vive users, or those who prefer to get their wares from the Steam store is Vinyl Reality. This is another virtual DJing software and is up on Steam for 15 bucks with Oculus Rift support. Similar stuff and personally I'd say give them both a go and see which wax gets you vibing. VR Racer Hoverbike from Vertex Breakers is a fast paced futuristic VR racing game with similarities to Red Out and the PS1 racing title Wipeout. And while Wipeout has been released in VR through the Amiga Collection update, link in the description, this looks like a great alternative. It does say in their YouTube description that the game is motion sickness free, oh, for fuck's sakes, man. but that's horseshit because, well, look at it. If they'd somehow managed to make this type of game completely motion sickness free for everyone, then that innovation would be much bigger news than the game itself. Still, this game looks like a load of fun and I think it's going to be pretty easy to recommend. Andrew Boswell Worth, Facebook's VP of AR and VR, posted on Twitter three days ago that Facebook's F8 conference this year is gonna hit 88 miles per hour and we're gonna see some serious shit. I've got no idea what this could be about, but feel free to speculate while I sit here and pretend I'm not interested to pass the time. Now oh, come on, tell me. Rift Pro, Rift 2, fuck it. <sighs> hey, waiting for stuff. The annual F8 developer conference will be held on May 1st and 2nd this year in San Jose, California, so stay tuned for updates. Also, a team at Stanford Uni are proposing a novel idea that sees movable real-world objects pop up in line with what you see in VR to improve object immersion. Stage 9 are working on a Star Trek The Next Generation of VR experience where you can explore the entirety of the Enterprise in VR, and you can try this out now. A Reddit user called Chestnut Bruce has uploaded a Vive only VR horror game for free that has wheelchair locomotion that him and four other students made last year. And there is a new Ready Player One trailer up on YouTube which shows more of the same. As usual, links are in the description for all of these. And finally, Pornhub Premium was free a week ago, but I didn't say shit as I didn't need y'all clogging up the bandwidth. Look, I'd apologize, but the sorry key on my keyboard seems to be stuck. Ah, uh, no, wait, that's... And that's this week on The Grid VR. If you have more you would like to add, then hit me up in the comments below and let's discuss. And if you like this video, then crush that like button, hit the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!